Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So in this video, we're going to go over some basics of Sketchbook Pro and work with a really easy drawing using one point perspective. In a previous video, I covered the essential tools and interface of the software. If you haven't seen it, I'll leave a link to the video so you can watch it as well. So for this project, I'll be using this grid function that places a vanishing point and I can move it wherever I want. This allows me to draw vertical and horizontal lines normally, but alters the perspective of depth lines by making them go towards the point as I begin to draw. So to begin with, I'll start by drawing some random squares and rectangles all over the place in the new layer, not worrying right now uh, if they are over each other. Then in another layer, I'll use my fountain pen to mark the squares nicely. And it's always convenient to do this in a separate layer, just in case you want to erase something later on. I'll do the same for the diagonal lines that show the depth of each cube, being careful on which layer to start drawing the loose sketch first. In this case, I'll be drawing the diagonal lines on the same layer I drew the initial squares, simply because I can turn the layer off later on and leave only the final lines visible. Now when you're doing this, it gets to a point where you need to decide which groups go in the front and which ones in the back. So now you can use your eraser tool to delete those lines that are going to be behind a cube or rectangle.
And when you're done, you can create a new layer and use your selection tool to only select the area you wish to fill with your gray tone. In this case, I'll start with the darkest gray, which is going to be on the bottom of the cubes, then move my way to the sides, followed by the fronts, and finally the upper part of the lower cubes, each with a different tone of gray. And one thing you can also do is to lock the layer of the outline of the cubes and change their tone so it looks nicer.
And then finally, add some light gray to the background and some random white lines on the edges of some cubes. And we're done. So as you can see, you can make a nice composition in perspective by only using a few tools in Sketchbook. Of course, this exercise is simple but covers the basics that you might need for future drawings on one point perspective. So thank you so much for watching, I hope you have enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next tutorial. If you like the video, don't forget to hit that like button, leave a comment and share it as well. Also, if you'd like to see more videos on traditional and digital sketching, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Again, thank you so much for watching and have a great day.